Hey guys, it's MBT here, nothing but tech, and I'm going to show you how to create a logo for beginners who don't have experience in Adobe Photoshop or any of those things, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have experience in those things, this will be a good video for you. We're going to use three main applications. They're going to be Apple applications, but you can use PowerPoint and things like that on the Windows. That will be coming tomorrow. So if you're watching this and you're a Windows user, wait until tomorrow for the Windows one. So the three apps you will be using are GarageBand, iMovie, and Keynote. Keep in mind for my logo, I use After Effects, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. And then I use some soundtracks from online and GarageBand or Logic. If I was going to make a logo using GarageBand, iMovie, and Keynote or Apple applications, I would actually use the Apple applications Logic, Final Cut, and Keynote. But since this is for people that don't want to spend too much money, I will be using the three applications I named first. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to open up Keynote. Once you open up Keynote, sorry, one second. Once you open up Keynote, you're going to want to create a new project. So since we're starting from the beginning, I'll create a new project for you guys. For this, pick whatever colors you want. Go with black or white. If you want to make, if you want to change the background at some point, go with white. I'm going to go with black because black and blue are my colors. So over here, I'm going to hold down on this, and I'm going to go over to this. Unless you have two things going on, then keep the first one, and you'll see why in a second. So I click this, and now I'm just going to delete the first slide. Over here, so my username is nothing but tech, but since I have stars in between things, I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to go like this, and this looks really bad because the font's awful, but on my actual logo that I made for this video, this is what it looks like. This is the font, so it looks better. So for this, instead of the stars, I will use dashes. Okay, so you're going to use dashes. You can use whatever you want, but you just write your username. You can see why I didn't leave it without, because then it would look like one thing. And since this is all caps, I have to do that. Okay, so now you're going to click on the text box. You're going to click Animate. And you're going to click Add an Effect for the Build In. Make sure you're on Build In. So down here, you can pick whatever effect. For this, I'm pretty sure... I don't actually remember what I used. We're going to go to, over to my logo and see actually what I used. Alright, I used pop. So basically what pop does is we'll add it so then you can see pop. Pop just brings it in quick. You could use like a quick heartbeat with that or something and that would be a good audio file. I'll show you what I mean with that in a second. I know I'm kind of scattered brained, but this is just how it has to be. Okay, so over here I'm going to keep the duration at 0.75 seconds, so 3 fourths second. And you can change this, and then the build order, you want to keep it on after transition, so then it plays itself. That's really important, because if you're making this into a movie, you won't be able to click. Okay, and you don't want to delay on this unless you do. I'm just going to show you how to create my logo that you saw in the beginning of this video. So the action, I kept as nothing. You can add an action, and actions like move, and then it would move that way. I'm not going to add an action. I'm just going to do change, none. An action's cool if you want to do a different kind of logo. So add an effect. The after effect I did was this one, and that brings it up. What I really wanted my logo to be was this, to conform from both sides, and then like smash, and there'd be dust, and then MBT show up. But that didn't work on this kind of program on Adobe After Effects. That's what I will get. Okay, so we're going to have it squish forward. We're not going to have it go from the edges because that will look like this. 
and I don't like that. So we're going to keep it at forward. We're going to delay this a few seconds. I think I delayed it. I delayed it 1.75 seconds, so we'll delay this. You want to keep it after build 1. Everything's after or with. So we're going to do this 1.75 seconds. And that will leave it like this. So it will show up, and then it will go away. That's good for me. I don't really need anything else, so that one works fine for me. Alright, now, since I want MBT to show up, like over here, see how I have the nothing but tag, nothing but tech, MBT, MBT. So over here, I'm going to add another text. And I'm actually going to delete that other text. We don't want that. We're going to copy this. Command C if you don't know how to copy. And then Command V. Now we're going to delete what we have in here by highlighting it and then clicking delete and then we're gonna do all caps NBT I used a different font for this video and I'll show you I used let's see I used I used this font regular 73 okay back to this so MBT we want to line it up and it will show you when when the two lines are here it means it's exactly lined up in the exact center of the screen I'm gonna move it for now so we can see what we're doing so for this one we want to change the build in to let's see what I did over here I did just move in so we can preview what that looked like so after that went then this came down so I'm gonna do move in again so I'm gonna do action change move in and then we're gonna do it um, we're gonna do it top to bottom so if we preview that after this goes away and then I click it will move but we have to change this build order to move in we have to change it after build 2 and we're gonna do let's see what delay I did I'm just trying to give you the exact thing so the move in we did a 0.4 second delay so we'll do the same here so now we don't want to squish though on this one what I did was I did a spin that worked well that was the best of possibilities so I'm going to change this to you have to scroll down a little bit and you see the spin here but the spin we want a little bit of a delay so going back here we want a one second delay so just a one second that looked good so now if we preview the whole thing and then that comes down now it came down too far right so now we're going to put this back in the center, and if we play it, it's good, but it's a little bit boring. I think it needs some sound. So for sound, we're going to head over to GarageBand. Okay, and let me just move this over here. For this, I did use Apple Tracks, as you could probably tell. That's obviously not the smartest decision. I use Apple Loops. But for this video, it's fine. So the three things I have going on is I have this one first. So that would have been fine on its own, but I actually I liked this added to it. So I'm just going to go back. I don't own any of these tracks, by the way. And then I use these two since these are like siblings. I use this one too. And what I really did here, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. But what I did is I put this one starting on beat one. I did this one starting one beat after. And then this one starting one beat after that. So this track right here starts two beats after the first track and one beat so it's kind of like a staircase and all together it sounds really sexy so if you've never used GarageBand before you have no idea how to do this so I'm gonna start a new file and I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna click empty project and I'm just going to click create. 
This is a Rode NT USB, but I'm not using it right now, as you could tell, because the audio quality sucks. So I'm going to click Create, and then I'm going to go over here to this little thing. It looks like a loop, and then that brings that up. So over here, since you know exactly what I used, you can search it. If you didn't know, you can listen to some of them. You could pick what you want, depending on your logo. This is what I used. So we're going to put that in first. And that's base one. So that, if we go back over to GarageBand, if we go back over to GarageBand, I use this one with the Alpha Matrix beat base two. So we're actually just gonna look that up. So Alpha. Oops. Alpha. And they they have it, so you would just use it, and you put it in. But for this video, I'm actually going to do three different tracks. You know what my tracks are. I'll show you again one more time. But let's just say I do mallet. So you can pick what kind of you want over here. So let me just bring that back. So you can pick like an acoustic. So then you could use like let's say I picked that acoustic, right? Then I can play that, and it would sound really awful, but. That's obviously not a good fit. You have to kind of have an ear for it, or you could just take what I did. So I'm going to go over to bass, and I'm going to do this. So you slide this in, and I would say that give your things a little room. Put this one at beat one, beat two, so, so on. And then since these are like brothers, you can just bass them out like that, and it will sound good. And if you find that these aren't getting heard, you can make the volume louder. So that sounds really bad, but let's say that we like it. Alright, I'm going to do a whole tutorial on how to make good sounds, and a GarageBand tutorial all, but I'm assuming that you know a little bit of GarageBand, because I can't spend all this time showing you GarageBand. So... We're going to go over here if we want to send it to iTunes so we can get it in iMovie. So we're going to go to Share, Song to iTunes. Click on that, fill out this information, and just click Share. Keep this at the highest quality. Then once it's in iTunes, you can head over again to iMovie. Head over to, head over to iMovie, and you're going to put in your keynote track, which you exported, and the keynote track will be over here. You just drag it in. That will work. I'm not concerned about that. So you drag it in. You want to keep it to however long your beats are. So this is my logo ringtone that I just designed in GarageBand. And this is what it sounds like. It conformed all of them. And I got it by going to iTunes. And then I clicked logo ringtone. Okay. So, you put that in, and that's like your steady. I'm keeping that for my whole time. I actually keep it a little bit past when it ends. And then over here, you just heard that little... Right? So, th this is Ski 1 and Ski 2. So, if you head over to Sound Effects, you can look... You can pick from any of these, like... But I'm just going to pick Ski 1. There's Ski 3 too, but I'm not going to use that. I don't like that. That's the skid. So then you just drag it. You just drag it into your project. I already have it there, so I'm not going to actually drag it. But what I did, as you can probably see, I'll, this is all stretched out. You can probably see right here, there's a little peak. There's that little orange spot. That's the peak. And that, that lets you get it higher so I separated the peaks on both of these tracks to leave it like this so one comes right away and then the seconds a tiny bit behind and that leaves the whole thing to look like so I think that's a good logo for beginners who don't know how to make this to have to export this you're just gonna go to share Theater. Once it's in your theater, this is it.
This is what I just showed you. 